Hi, I'm Heather Staines, the Director of Partnerships for Hypothesis. Today I want to do for you a brief demo of Hypothesis Publisher Groups. Hypothesis is a mission-driven nonprofit, an open source technology company. We've been working with educators and students, publishers and platforms, technology companies and journalists and more to enable an annotation layer, a conversation across the web. A few years ago, we started to reach out to publishers to find out what features and functionalities would make Hypothesis more useful to them. It's these publisher groups, now live, that I want to show you today. The first publisher we started to work with is, the e is eLife, an open access life sciences publisher. It was through development with them that we are now able to offer publisher groups more broadly. As an open access publisher, eLife wanted to learn more about their readers. They didn't want the readers to have to create separate hypothesis accounts. So we enabled eLife profiles to be connected up to hypothesis accounts. Through this single sign-on, which is available to other publishers today, the process of creating annotations can be simplified. Some of the other features and functionalities enabled by our collaboration with eLife can be seen in the client on the right side of the screen. You'll see at the top of the group, this is the eLife branded and moderated layer. You see the little logo there as well. And at the lower right of the annotation card is the moderation flag. If someone has a problem with an annotation in this layer, if they click the flag, an email will go to the designated moderator at eLife for review. I'll also point out that we have these moderation flags in the Hypothesis public channel, but we take care of those directly. Some of the other customizations enabled through development with eLife include the look and feel of the client on the page. We want to make sure it fits in well with publisher designs. This is an open group, one in which anyone can participate. It's world readable and world writable. But some publishers have specific challenges in mind when they think about including annotation on their site. Here's an example of a restricted group. It's world readable, but writable only by designated folks um, approved by the publisher. Every January, the American Diabetes Association uh, publishes an update to the standards of medical care and diabetes. They wanted to have a mechanism to provide updates to the site without waiting another year for the publication process to begin again. We created this branded moderated layer for them. You can see their branding here at the top. It's world readable to anyone who comes to the site, but the only folks who can create annotations are those in control of the American Diabetes Association account. They did an amazing job with these annotations and these updates. You can see here in the annotation card, the date when the annotation was originally published, the date it was approved by their publications committee, as well as a suggested citation and some helpful tags. The ADA account uses Hypothesis accounts in the back end, so they have access to a group page. Through this group page, you can explore all of the annotations that have been added to the site. Any of these annotations can be viewed in context, can be shared out, even the whole group can be shared. Another example of a restricted group is a project we did in conjunction with Syracuse University's Qualitative Data Repository in Cambridge University Press. The project's called ATI, or Annotation for Transparent Inquiry, and it's designed to bring transparency to citations in the social sciences. If I click on an annotation card here, you'll see this is connected to this line in the text. The authors are able to provide additional content on their methodology, context around their research, translations if source material documents are in another language, additional sources that may have been too lengthy to make it into the print or even the online version, as well as a link to the data repository. Similar to the, ADI, the American Diabetes Association example, this group has a group activity page where you can explore several other articles across the Cambridge site that are part of the ATI project. The next phase of this project is to make similar type annotations visible and articles on other publisher platforms. Another example of a restricted group is in a journal called Murmurations. It's an interdisciplinary journal hosted on the PKP OJS platform. Each one of the articles has a restricted group. These groups are created to include the journal editor, the authors, 
and the reviewers. Murmurations calls these roles the facilitators, the creators, and the reflectors. Amongst the group, a conversation happens atop the article. As this is a restricted layer, no one else can add any annotations into this group, but anyone who wants to add a commentary can go into the Hypothesis Public channel and add their information there. Let me tell you a few more details about publisher groups. We want to make sure that it's possible for publishers of all sizes to be able to work with Hypothesis. We employ a simple document-based pricing scheme with volume discount. You know, as we're an open source company, you can add basic Hypothesis to your pages, but to, in order to get the branded moderated functionality of the open groups and the restricted groups that I've just shown, that is the paid service. We look at how many documents you add per year across your content as a proxy for publisher size, and we can provide pricing based on this. As I showed in the eLife example, we can connect to your existing accounts if that's desirable. We can add the publisher branded and moderated groups in either an open group context that anyone can join or a restricted context where you designate who can create the annotations. We provide UI customization, customer support, open source maintenance to make sure that the code base can continu continually be improved, and the most important thing, an engagement program we work together with you on to ensure a successful rollout. We provide assistance with training and also outreach. If you have further questions on publisher groups, don't hesitate to reach out. We'd be happy to tell you more. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.